Well, today I will solve the newest machine that has been added to uh, Furnable Hub website. The machine is, um, let me show you the machine. Basically, our machine today is GIS CTF, okay? And it's very, very, very easy vulnerable machine. It all depends on your enumeration skills, how to enumerate directories, how to um, navigate in Linux file systems, and so on. So today, I will solve this machine, and step by step. So first, let me... Okay. No. So first, discover uh, so first we discover uh, it's a mistake here okay I think I have made something backwards okay Oops. Okay, first we um, list the current active machines in our network. And basically our IP address is this address, okay, which is um, here. So I will end this scan just to show you how you discover the network. And then we clear and map. Um, scan for services, aggressive scan, OS detection, and the IP address. So, here we go. Here we have uh, SSH and we have HTTP and those are the disallowed directories that a search engine cannot crawl so basically those are directories that you need to uh, navigate through in order to retrieve the flags basically in this machine we need to gather five flags okay so this is the main web page okay and you see here you have login form and first thing first as usually we do I sent the main uh, HTTP request through um, the spider of the perp suite and here we have the current discovered directories basically this directory uh, is let's remove this from here yes okay so in order to discover the first flag the first flag is listed under um, so here you see flag okay so the response in row so the first flag is blah 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 so you find the first flag under a flag directory basic enumeration the second flag is, I think, under admin area. Yes. So those are the directories that you can discover through dear directory brute force using dear dear buster, or you can use burp suite uh, through spider, or you can uh, use um, Nikto scan to discover those directories easily discovered. Okay. So the second flag is here, okay, and here we have username and password. So we will use those username and password to log in into the web application here. So let's copy, copy, admin, oh, 
okay very straightforward very clear that we need to exploit um, a file upload vulnerability so here are in front of we are in front of many varieties and different exploit options so first we can if we can upload the web shell using PHP Python listener netcat anything you will so basically in this uh, machine I will use a simple PHP backdoor or a simple PHP CMD command execution so basically this is my shell that I will upload so here I have my PHP shell that invokes CMD okay then I type in whatever command I need to execute against the system so just need to browse and upload okay so because I uploaded the shell previously I will not upload it anymore or again so how you could you access the web shell basically you navigate or based on our discoveries here we have a directory called uploaded files so here we go to this directory here uploaded files shell.php and here we type the cmd parameter that we need to that we need to pass our commands so let me close this here i don't i don't need this anymore and let me okay references I think the machine is very slow okay everything, everything is fine so So let's try to list the current files or to see where we are on the system. Okay, so we are under the web server directory. So let's list the files. So we have couple of files here under the uploaded files directory let's try to navigate and see what are the files under the um, uh, web server directory so simply we type ls plus for a space in URL encoding and slash uh, sorry uh, my uh, dash la to list the um, hidden files and then we type the directory HTML and we hit enter okay so we have a couple of direct of a couple of files here so you see we have flag the text but this file okay we cannot read this file due to the fact that um, the permissions are only specified or the, or the users that are allowed to read this file are only the um, group users and the root okay others cannot and basically we are www data as you can see and www data is not um, it's, it's, it not, doesn't belong to the group here okay so we cannot read the flag to txt file and here we have the flag which has been read which has the second flag now we are um, trying to see where we can find the third flag. So here we have hint to text. Okay. So how can we see the content of this file? First or simply we type cat and here the file is hint.txt.
Okay, here we go. So the third flag is blah blah blah, and it's saying that trying to find um, user the user Technowi's password to read the flag the txt file, which we have seen a while ago, and you can find it in a hidden file. Okay. So after a couple of tries and attempts to find this file, I have found that this file is under, if you go to it, it's here, MySQL, okay, I think we forgot something, so here, under, uh, conf d there is a file called credentials the text so if we list or cat the file And here is the fourth flag, okay? And we have username Teknawi, and the password is something, evil hacker. So let's copy the password since it's very easy to remember the username. And we copy. And let's log in using SSH right now. Okay, so take now we okay and enter we paste the password and we have access I think so okay now clear let's see the current files okay so to give you much experience about this file so this file basically i thought that this file has which is the hidden file that has the default flag and i was confused about what's the main purpose of this file a couple of search on google i found that this file is as admin successful is a file is created automatically whenever you try to sudo as something, sudo as root, sudo as something, okay? So don't be confused about this file. It's empty and it doesn't have anything meaningful inside it. So let's clear again. And we are concerned about the flag.txt file, which is under the web server directory. So let's go to the web server directory. Bar. And here we have flag to txt and now we have read permissions since we are taking now right now we have access uh, permissions to see the content of this file so cat flag to txt and done this is the fifth five this is lag and i think we find five flags and got their points and finished the first scenario so uh, as you saw guys this is a challenge very easy you only need enumeration skills, okay? And basic Linux syntax and commands. That's it.